Sarah Ogni and I'm the founder of the Kids Beach Garden. The Kids Beach Garden is the first sustainable beach in Lagos and what we do here is we teach children about cleanliness, about the environment and how they can make a change. We also teach them about recycling and tree planting and we encourage them to let other people know why it's important to do that. The Kids Beach Garden started in 2015 and we started by having several beach cleanups. We also continued planting trees, planting coconut trees and trying to safeguard the aquatic life in Nigeria and in Lagos State um, to be precise. We've had a lot of challenges, most of the most annoying challenges basically um, when we have a lot of goats coming to eat the coconut, very annoying, but we've always tried to, you know, safeguard the coconut so that they can grow healthy and also protect coastal erosions from happening. We also have a lot of issues with funding and more importantly, safety. When we hear oh, children are going to the beach in Nigeria, it's something that people don't want to do and they don't want to hear about. But we've been able to gradually break that paradigm and encourage children to come out to the beach to learn about their immediate environment and connect with them. Generally, people's reactions have been encouraging, but when we started, I started out cleaning the beach and a lot of people didn't understand that and decided to call me, oh, why is she combing the beach? Why is she a beach comber? And you know, because I don't have a nine to five, I do this full time, people didn't understand why I would leave my, um, my practice, my law practice to do this full time. And we also had challenges with parents and they didn't want to come out all the time. And even when they came out, they didn't want to go close to the ocean. They didn't want their, their children to do anything. And we started encouraging them. <laughs> Financially, we run this place solely on donations and we encourage people to donate the little that they can. So for people that want to donate rakes, we encourage them to donate rakes. For people that want to help pay um, staff salaries, we encourage them to do that as well. And every time people come here, we encourage them to adopt a tree. When you adopt a tree, you get to come here at any time to see your tree and then whatever funds you get from there, we use it to maintain the facility. We started out in 2009 as Kids Clean Club and it, was, it started out in Adja. We encouraged children to recycle, we went to their schools, we went to churches, we went to estates and we continued the, the campaign there. And in 2015, I love the beach and I live around this area, so I came to this particular space and I saw that it was really dirty and I wanted to do something so we started with getting adult volunteers to rake and clean and we started to encourage children to come and plant trees and we made it significant because we wanted children to grow with the trees so that in seven years, ten years, these children can come back and say this is what we did for the environment and encourage other people and even inspire people to do more for the environment. At the Kids Beach Garden, we do a lot of recycle art. We use tires a lot, we use plastic, we use cement bags, we use anything that can be thrown away. We use it to create artwork. And this artwork can also be optional. We're teaching the children here to be confident in their own skill. So we don't just teach them to plant and, and take care of the environment. We also, teach, we also teach them how to use their initiative to do something beautiful that will sell their talents as well. So our highest point was our biggest, will I say, the milestone we've achieved this year was when we got a grant from ACT Foundation. So I am a proud ACT Foundation grantee. The first time they are giving out grants, they looked at the project and they saw how passionate the team was and they gave us a grant. And we hope that other people in Nigeria and outside the country will watch this video and be inspired to do the same thing. And when I think about my lowest points, it's been in 2015 when we started. It was very challenging because a lot of people don't understand charity. And we built a lot of things here for the children and we had people that would just come and maliciously damage everything. It was very painful, but 
we had to keep going and it was donors money so you can imagine what we went through because a lot of people think that it's a commercial enterprise and we always let them know that even if we're on the shoreline we're on the shoreline to protect it and that's why we keep doing it. So when people donate to the Kids Beach Garden, they don't just donate for the environment, but they also donate to educate the children in this area. We have a community we have ad adopted in Elegushi Beach, and we help the children go to school, we help the children stay in school, and we feed the children as well. So as many children that give back to the environment, we give something to them in return. started the kids beach garden there was nobody I was looking at nobody had ever done it before and it was very difficult but the only thing that has sustained me thus far is the fact that I had passion and I held on to my passion no matter what so if you're still trying to find yourself and you don't know exactly what to do or you're confused about whether you're going to make money or not whether you know you just don't know just you're, you know yourself you know what you're passionate about and you know what you can do without anybody telling you to do it. Whatever that thing is, start to do it consistently. Start to be the best at what you're doing and grow your passion and protect your passion because it's only you that has that. Hi, my name is Doin Sola Ogunye. I'm the founder of the Kids Beach Garden. You're watching Spotlight from happynotes.ng.